Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 14. So we're like two months away from iOS 14 being released on its first beta version and already the leaks are getting like really crazy. In the past few hours, we had two major leaks of the new features that are coming to iOS 14. So let's go ahead, talk about those and I will show you guys what you can expect with iOS 14 and these two really amazing new features. So first of all, we're talking about the wallpaper section. Now we already mentioned that Apple will make a change on the wallpaper section, adding like different categories of wallpapers, also adding the ability to add collections of wallpapers, which would be integrated into the settings of the wallpapers, of course, on the settings app. But now we have like major leak here from a Twitter user named Dungle Book Pro, which of course I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. We have screenshots of that actual part of iOS. So the settings of the wallpapers on iOS 14. And you can see right here how it will look. So first of all, we can see here the collection. So you will have photos. You see the plus button right there, which will allow you to add like photos to this collection. And then you will have like classic stripes. You have iOS 13 there probably. When it gets released, it will be iOS 14. And then you will have like other categories like Earth, flowers and all that stuff and that's of course really really amazing now this has been reported even earlier by 9 to 5 mac the ability to basically add different collections of photos to your wallpaper settings and of course have all the different like groups of wallpapers but what's really really interesting is this part right here when you choose a new wallpaper so what you can see here is the lock screen and the home screen wallpaper. Now this new feature will allow you to change the look of the home screen wallpaper. You will have like four different types of wallpapers that you can add to your home screen. When you set a wallpaper like this one right here, which is a default iOS 13 wallpaper, you will have that look on the lock screen, but you can choose different home screen appearances right here. So you can have the same look on the home screen as well. And you can also have like the smart gradient. You can have just a solid color and that's based on the colors of the wallpaper, or you can have just a black home screen wallpaper. And that's really, really interesting because that will also lead us to the big new feature of iOS 14 that has been reported by 9to5Mac. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. The big new feature I'm talking about here are the home screen widgets. According from 9to5Mac, they have found evidence on the iOS 14 beta code that Apple will allow us to have home screen widgets. These are widgets that are not like pinned like the ones that are on the iPad OS right now, but these are widgets that you will be able to like move on the home screen just like you move the icons of your apps. And that would be of course really, really cool. It would have your most useful widgets anywhere you want on the home screen. And this is again evidence that 9 to 5 Mac has found on iOS 14 beta code. And that could be scrapped by Apple meantime while it comes time to release it to the public but hopefully if they have been working on it they will add it to the final release and we could be able to basically have our favorite widgets right there on the home screen and of course that will also change the widget game right now on the app store you won't see like any number a large number of widgets but by the time apple releases this probably a lot of devs will be working on some really really useful widgets that will make most of the home screen of the iPhone. So this is very believable. Taking a look at those wallpaper settings, the gradient look, the dark look and all that, because with that, you would make like a cleaner look on the home screen. That way you would see more details of the widgets. And that's of course a really, really welcome change, a big refresh on the home screen of the iPhone. So that is it for this video, guys. Looks like we will see quite a few new changes on iOS 14. Hopefully Apple will keep these features on the final release of iOS 14 and they would be really, really awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 14 news and leaks and all that stuff. So make sure to subscribe, leave a like in this video and I will see you guys on the next one.